Once you have been approved as an NOCN centre, you will receive a confirmation email providing you with a link to QuartzWeb and instruction on how to log in and create a password. If you require additional QuartzWeb users or you have not received a confirmation email, please contact the customer service team. You will need to read the terms and conditions on every visit and tick the box to confirm you agree to them. You won't be able to type in your login details until this box has been ticked. To log in, enter your email address or username and the password you have chosen. If you've forgotten your password, then click on the Forgotten Your Password link. An email will be provided with a link to reset your password. If you have more than one role at the centre, you will need to select the relevant role from the top right hand corner. To register learners for units only, select Actions, then select E-Registration Submission. If you require additional guidance, please refer to the NOCN Registrations and Awards User Guide at the top of the page. On the E-Registration Submission page, please select the relevant course of learning from the drop-down menu. If learners are only completing the units and are not intending on achieving a full qualification, please leave the qualification section blank. Then click Continue. The start and end date are both mandatory. If you are registering for functional skills qualifications, please see the functional skills user guide with information regarding the start and end date requirements. The provider reference is optional. This can be used by the centre to identify the course. Please enter the purchase order number to be quoted on the invoice. If you do not require a purchase order number, please just enter your initials. Please select a site. This will be the venue where the training will take place. Please select a tutor. If the tutor does not show on the drop-down menu, they will need adding to the Horizon portal. Please contact the customer service team for guidance. Please type the intended credit value here. If you are not sure at this stage how many credits the learner will achieve, please type zero. The notes on this submission are optional. If you want to add any notes about the registration, please enter them here. The learner details will need uploading through the standard registration NOCN document, which can be accessed at the bottom of the page. The mandatory fields on this form are surname, forename, date of birth and gender. The ULN is the unique learner number provided to the learner in relation to their personal learner record. The ability, employment and ethnicity are collected for monitoring purposes only. All codes for these categories can be found on the second tab of the registration document. The NOCN registration document will now need saving to your desktop after all the learner's details have been entered. You will now need to close the document after saving. You now need to attach the learner registration document by selecting Choose File and adding the document from your desktop. Please select Continue with Unit Registration. By selecting this option, you will only be registering the learners against the specific units that you have selected, and only these units will appear on the RAC which is a recommendation for the award of credit. You will use this document when you are ready to claim for your learner's achievements. By selecting Module, you have the option to choose between the mandatory and optional units. You can either search for each unit by entering any one piece of information 
and clicking search. However, if you just click search, then all the units in the course will appear for you to choose from. Please add units using the buttons on the right hand side, or alternatively, click the add all button. If you have selected a unit in error, you can remove this by clicking the remove button on the right hand side. All units selected on this page will be displayed on the RAC. Once you have added all the units, click continue. You will be asked to confirm all the details you are about to submit, including the units, are correct. If you are happy with everything, please click Submit. Your registration is now being submitted to NOCN for processing. Your registration will have been assigned a Run ID number that you should make note of and quote to us if you have any queries or problems about your registration.